Hey everyone, Scott J. Way from Crucible Custom Props, Norfolk Slab, and all the forms here. So again, today we have a Han A New Hope a blaster. This, of course, is the Field Marshal One to One Steel Mauser uh, project. Um, but this one has lights and sounds, just like the last one, which uh, is kind of cool. But it's also, you know, of course, a, quite a bit of work to get that to work. Um, but in the end, it's super cool that we can do this with the uh with the steel mauser now one of the things that has to be done by field marshal is the drilling out of the barrel uh, my machines are fairly big for a home but uh, not big enough to to handle that i can do it in a denix but uh, drilling through a steel barrel I just can't i can't manage it so if anybody ever wants one of these done you definitely need to have uh, order it with the barrel drilled from the blaster factory or field marshal at war machine paintball um, before sending it to me or whoever or doing it yourself. I really, unless you have big machines, it's it's kind of a tall order to drill that out. Otherwise, the rest of it's pretty doable. Um, although I need to machine part of the sear to make the switching work for me. Uh, but in any case, uh, here it is. All of the uh, original Mauser parts that are fire blue are fire blue, of course. The bolt stop trigger safety the lock frame latch uh the sight slider all that stuff is uh as it should be um but take a look at this sorry sorry it's nighttime so the the lighting isn't as good as could be um but anyway we have the field marshal scope this in fact this is the complete kit uh with a blaster core 5.0 the greebly here is magnetic so just just sucks right on there so like uh like before you can uh, cock the handle cock the hammer um move the safety back and forth the bolt works and of course uh, this is also kind of the instructions for the owner you will need a tool of some sort to pop off the plate your kill key is right here Your SD card access is right here too, but I don't really think you'll need to get into it, uh, into the SD card. I've already set it up with the Han fonts and the Star Wars fonts that are pretty much available. Um, you can fire it however you like. You've got a red LED for blast. And this, uh, like the other one, um, you want to not have it on full all the way down because that's pressing the button down Got our blue here for some reason this particular LED is light blue <laughs> it's kind of cyan light blue instead of a, a, a darker blue which is odd because it comes from the same batch of LEDs as all the other ones did but um, pretty cool nonetheless in any case um, that's how you switch your your modes to um, it's meant to so you can pull this back and have the hammer uh, catch without uh, triggering the, the trigger but that's kind of tricky to do. In any case, so if you want to change fonts, hold the trigger down. If you have one of those come up, you'll wait a while. Then you will um, do that twice. You're in the menu. It's the best bin version. Boba Fett, Imperial Trooper, the Han font, just no no talking, and the stock whatever uh, blaster core thing, audio player. Press to hold. So there it is.
pretty fun. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, another one of the with the light and sound. So uh, thanks for watching. And um, if you do want one of these built, hit me up on Facebook, Crucible Custom Props, or you can find me through Nerf Works Lab, N E R F W O R X Lab dot com, um, which just links to my Facebook page. Uh, so those are the best ways to get in touch with me, or you can message me here on YouTube, but um, it's easier to see through Facebook. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Thanks again for watching. Oh, and this Mauser has the uh, real, the wood grips upgrade. Um, most of the time they just come with the plastic grips, but I strongly, strongly recommend getting the wood grips. Anyway, so thanks for, thanks for watching.